In this video, we're doing timbale grooves and transition fills for salsa and Latin jazz. Coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner. If this is your first time on Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today. Although we play a variety of patterns on timbales, this video is going to focus on cascada and mambo bell. We're also going to focus on two transition fills, one to get from the lower dynamic sections into the louder dynamics, the montuno sections, and one to get back into those lower dynamics to help you transition from the mambo bell back to the cascada. For more information on timbales and how to play these patterns and fills, go to rhythmnotes.net. I'll put a link to the article in the description below. You'll find transcriptions of these patterns as well as more explanation on the different parts of the timbales and a little bit on the history as well as some featured timbaleros you should definitely be checking out. Both the cascada and the mambo bell pattern are based on clave. So there's a three side and a two side. For these examples, we're gonna use son clave. So three, two son clave would be one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Notice that certain clave hits line up with the three side of the cascada as well as the two side. Now if we were to play two, three clave, it would be one, two, three and four and one and two and three, four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four and one. And so you'd have to play the two side of the cascada or the mambo bell pattern first instead of starting with the three side. It's very important to not get crossed or cruzado. Now in terms of song form, the cascada is normally played during the verse of the song or the lower dynamic part. And it can be played on the shells or the pilas of the, of the timbales or on the cymbal or on some other instrument. There's no serious rules, but usually in the verse it's played on the shells of the drum. most salsa and Latin jazz arrangements, the mambo bell is played during the louder portion of the songs, the choruses, the montuno sections, or under certain solos. Notice that there's two groupings of four eighth notes in the mambo bell pattern. And at the end of that grouping, there's an accent. To play that accent toward the edge of the bell, that means you're gonna move the stick while you're playing those accents toward the edge of the bell. When that happens, you get this swell. The swell makes the pattern move and it helps, I think it helps with like the feel of like the dancers and the rhythms and with all these different layers happening, if you're just wailing away on the bell with no sort of dynamic contrast or, or movement, it's just gonna be boring and stale and just too mechanical. So put some of that feel in there and really pay attention to how you're moving that line and not overdoing it, but really Focusing on that accent, focusing on the consistent quality of sound you're getting out of the bell. Now that you have the two patterns, the cascada and the mambo bell, let's talk about the transition fills. To get into the cascada to start the groove, you're gonna do three and four. So it's bakum, and it's a shot on the macho and a dead center hit on the embra. The second fill is called the abanico, which means fan, and it kind of sounds like a fan with the way you play a roll on the timbales. This particular fill takes you from the cascada and the lower dynamic sections to the mambo bell in the louder sections of the tune. And it's 
actually fits with clave. So there's two ways to play it. If you're in 3-2, you're actually going to hit beat 3 on the shot and play the roll on beat 4. So, ga ra If you're doing 2-3 clave, like the song in the demonstration, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, ga ra The rim shot starts on the and of three of the three side of the clave, that's the bomba note, and then the roll starts on the third hit of the three side, and then into the, the mambo bell pattern. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.